Hi, and welcome to our second video for the master program. Uh, it's going to be a brief video focusing on the layout that the master program that we're going to be building has. Um, so let's jump right into it. So firstly, what does it need to do? Um, there are three main sections, and we're going to cover all of them, all three here. Um, first thing is we need to change what program we're going to be running based on input. So um, we're going to go through how we do that in a sec. Uh, second thing is we need to display the program, the name of the program, obviously, so that we know which program we're going to run. And then thirdly, we're going to run the program. So to change the program based on like whatever robot input you have, um, we have to think about how we're actually inputting things. And obviously, we're going to be using sensors of some sort in this um, this this uh, master program. Uh, secondly, what does it need to change? Well, we need to keep track of which program to run. So variables are a really good choice here because you can assign a specific variable number to a specific um, run number or um, uh, program number that you want nested in this master program or sequencer program. So obviously the sensor input changes the variable um, but the question is, which sensors make the most sense? Well, EV3 buttons make the most sense to use as our input simply because it's what we've been using for before with for navigating your um, menus and changing your programs anyways. Um, you could use other sensors, obviously. You could use touch sensors or even really complicated things with light sensors where you wave your hand over or something and it changes the program or um, ultrasonic sensors. Um, this is just going to be the simplest. You're already using it. You already have it accessible. Uh, it makes sense. So as I said, variables will be keeping track of which current program it's on. So um, you'll have a specific variable for a specific program number. So these two things are really similar, the name of the program and running the program, because they're basically using the same exact logic. Um, there's only really one difference. So first, let's explain the logic. Um, basically, we're using a series of switches to uh, determine what the current variable number is for our program. So if the variable number is 2, we want to know that we want to figure out what is the variable number by going through a whole bunch of switches and then we'll figure out oh it's two that means it corresponds with this name which is run two or whatever um, or if you have other creative names but basically you want to go through a series of switches and display a name depending on which variable um, number whichever number the variable is currently at um, running the program is the exact same thing. You're going through um, switch logic, uh, figuring out what variable we're on, and if we're on run 2, this time we're going to run it instead of actually um, displaying the name. So the main difference is the name of the program running constantly. It's running over and over and over and over again, so you're constantly updating so that when you change the program, so does your name of the program displayed on the screen so that you know which program you're running. On the other hand, you don't want to constantly run the program from the beginning every single time because usually your program is really long and a loop time won't allow your robot to go anywhere. So if you want to keep executing the front, the beginning of your, um, your program, that's not going to work very well. So you only want to execute that once. So as kind of a summary of the three main parts, again, we have our get input right here. So we're going to get in the input from the variables and make changes, or from the um, sensors, sorry, and make changes to the variables. And the sensor that we're going to be using is the EV3 buttons. And basically, we're going to determine which um, which very which uh, button is pressed by again switch logic. Then you're going to display the name, so we're going to execute the, the command for displaying the name, which will be, um, again, more switch logic. And uh, finally, run the program, which is 
executing the program, making it go, um, which again is using switch logic. So you're going to see in the master program you use a lot of switches and um, you have to really be careful about which branch means what, which we'll go into uh, in future videos. So uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and continue on with our series.